Hey everyone, today I'm kicking off a new series about prepping in an apartment. Don't go anywhere, you're watching Living Survival. Alright guys, so anybody like me that lives in an apartment knows space is at a premium and it is hard to stock up on things like food and water and things like that in the amount that you would need in an emergency situation. I decided to do a few videos and show some of the ways that I prep in an apartment and today we're going to start with a product that was sent to me from a company called Tack Bar. Now as I said, I'm going to be going into several other videos and going into more detail on some of the preps that I do for water and water purification and foods and things like that, shelf life, in future videos. So when you order the Tack Bar kit, you get this cool plastic ammo can, which is useful in all sorts of ways on its own, and then you get the uh, food ration bars packed inside. Now if I open this one up here, you can see that they're all individually wrapped into 2,500 calorie bars. They're vacuum sealed, there's no easy rip off or anything like that. They've done everything they can do, made it you know, a dark, uh, a dark mylar material here. They've done everything they can do to preserve this as long as possible. And you can see the, see the size of this here. It's compressed calories that actually taste pretty dang good in a bar like this. So you can keep one of these boxes or two of these boxes for however many people you have in your household. And it's very small and easy to store like on a shelf or in a you know in a uh, cabinet or something like that so it's a great way to have a portable uh, food solution for you in the event of an emergency of course you can just grab these throw one in your truck uh, you know take one with you on the go or you can you can take you know one or two of these individually wrapped packets here throw one in a bug out bag throw one in a get home bag and then you have uh, basically a ready to eat uh, meal with you on the go in the event of a survival type situation. Now the tack bar cases do come locked so you just uh, cut off the little tab here and then you get access into the box. The box comes with five uh, individually wrapped uh, bars that you can break into thirds. There's only four because I've taste tested one. Then you also get a bunch of these aqua tabs, which you can use to filter water. So that's great as well. So not only can you purify a bunch of water with these uh, aqua tabs, but then you also have the, uh, the food rations themselves. Then they've also sent along a sticker and a uh, little nylon belt, which is pretty cool as well, just as an added bonus when you order the tack bar system. So if we look at the back of the box here, you can see information on everything that's in there. Ready to eat tack bar, tactical food ration, five year shelf life. Most soup and beans and things like that only have a year to two year shelf life. Dehydrated meals will have more, of course, but they are more expensive. Emergency ration, natural disaster relief, bug out provisions, general preparedness, and survival food. 2,500 calories per packet and it's made with honey, whey protein, oats, coconut, vitamins, and minerals. So unlike some of the other bars, uh, these have natural products in them and they actually taste good. You know, they've, they've spared no expense to put uh, items in there like honey, like the, uh, the whey protein instead of uh, other chemicals and things like that that some of the other bars use. A lot of the bars out there like Daytrex and SOS, those are made simply for you know a long shelf life, something they throw in raft uh, lifeboats and things like that. Aren't made to taste good, they're just there if you need them. These actually taste good and something that tastes good goes a long way in a survival situation. So you get five individually vacuum sealed food ration packets. Like I said, they're in a light, light proof bag with no easy rip off or anything like that. You know, a lot of bars, uh, when they ship in the big boxes, MREs and things like that, can, you know, get tiny punctures in them. Uh, they can get tiny rips in them. And then basically it eliminates any sort of uh, shelf life. So in addition, you get 10 AquaTab water purification tablets, which you can uh, treat up to 10 liters or 2.27 gallons of water. Then on the other side here, they have nutrition information for the bars. 
Uh, as I said, there's three servings per bag. You can you can break them off into three servings, one in the morning, one at midday, and one at night. Uh, and then it breaks down. They actually have uh, vitamins and minerals in them as well. So it's pretty much a complete package when it comes to something that will sustain you uh, long term in a survival situation. You can see here that they're best before 2020, so quite uh, a bit longer than your can, uh, canned food. The Aquatabs also come in a uh, nice little Mylar pouch. Very easy for sticking down in a kit. If you were to just grab one of these bars and one of these, um, one of these packets of water treatment, very good item to have in a survival kit or a bug out bag. Then of course the box itself is very useful. It's your standard size ammo can. They are stackable so you can order a couple of these and they take up very little room and you'll have that emergency food if you were to need it. All right, so I brought in Mrs. Living Survival to uh, test these out with me. And uh, they should be pretty good. The company says they are pretty good. They're a lot better than like lifeboat rations. You notice they're packed the same way as I showed you before. The reason they're packed in a bulk block like this instead of you know individual bars or something like that is because the less air that they can get in there, the longer it's gonna uh, last. So individual bars that are individually wrapped, there's a lot of air in between them and things like that, and they just don't last as long. It shows right on the back of the package here that this will last till December 20th of 2020 so quite a while but tastes much better according to the company than let's say lifeboat rations so we're gonna go ahead and cut one of these open and we're gonna give it a try so let me show you what it looks like right out of the box it just looks like just a bar it says tack bar on it and it looks like it's got a couple of score marks here so you can break it off into three sections maybe your breakfast lunch and dinner it smells good I mean it says it's made with honey, whey protein, oats, and coconut. Yeah. And then it has good. vitamins and minerals in it. So let's give it a try. I'm just going to try to bite off a little piece here, I guess. Is it like a protein bar? It was pretty easy to bite. Not as hard. You can tell it's just super dense. It actually tastes kind of lemony and I believe the reason for that is is that they use lemon juice or lime juice to uh, to balance out the acidity without having to use a preservative or something like that so it does taste, taste kind of lemony it's pretty good <laughs> Oh, what does it taste like to you? Can you like taste a, a lemon in it? Like a big cookie. <laughs> well. Yeah, it's like um, one of those like protein bars, like a, like a cliff bar almost, like but different texture. Not it's like harder than that, but it's definitely like lemony. It's yeah, like it a does lemon have bar. a lemon, lemon taste to it. Could you see yourself eating that? Oh yeah. Oh yeah, like you're that excited <laughs> about it? So hope you guys enjoyed that video today. I'm definitely gonna do some more videos on some of the other preps that I do when it comes to food storage in more detail, water storage, water purification, and other things like emergency you know, lighting and things like that that you can have prepped even in an apartment in the case of an emergency or a natural disaster. Too many times in my apartment the power goes off so I have no heat, especially in the winter time, and the food can quickly go bad in your refrigerator and freezer. So it's good to have some dry goods on hand and it's good to stock up on batteries and candles and things like that. So I'm gonna go into more details in future videos. I really do like the tack bar and I really do think it has a pretty great price for what you get. I mean, if you compare that with the dehydrated meals, which are on the more expensive end of things, or you compare it to the Daytrex or SOS uh, ration bars, which taste awful, and they are pretty similar in price, tack bar is a great option. I like the fact that it comes in an ammo box, which is a multi-use box. I like the fact that they're individually sealed, so you can take one or two bars with you, maybe you know, in your bug out bag or throw one in your vehicle or something like that. So I'm gonna leave some links below to Tack Bar's website and also a link to Amazon where you can pick up the Tack Bar kit for yourself. 
I hope you enjoyed this video today. Please give it a big thumbs up for me. Make sure you leave me some comments below. Share this video to anybody who might be interested on social media. And you can also follow me on social media. All my links are in the description. To get to the description, for those of you that continue to ask, you just click show more. While you're doing so, if you haven't already done it, please click that red subscribe button and subscribe for more videos. What is it? Looks like soap. It smells good. It says on the pack. <laughs> get closer. Get your head in there. My head isn't even like all on top. Well, I know. That's how you got to be on film. Not like that, but just stand closer. <laughs>